Hello guys, my name is Anarchy and welcome to Battletech. We are going to play with this game. This is a turn-based strategy game where you control these battle mechs and try to destroy the enemy forces. This game is still in early beta, so everything you see might be up to a change. Let's get into the game and see what we can play with. Alright, so I have to set up my force, and maybe the enemy force, and I have to choose a map. I'm going to do that before we start the game, so let me look through what I can find here and I will get back to you when I'm done. So these are my mech warriors and the enemy deployed over there. Now I think I will try to take a, a covered position in this forest. The reason why I'm saying that is you can see many of these areas give you different bonuses. This mineral field uh, enhance your energy weapon damage and of course the damage you take from energy weaponry. Now the first, if, uh, okay, I will try to show you that, but I think I'm quite slow with these heavy maps. So any of you who might ask what kind of game mode I'm playing, I try to bring in the heaviest map to show and some light ones. Most of my mechs are medium mechs in this composition. I think one of them is a heavy mech actually. So, okay, uh, I will try to give you some tactical information that I picked up and picked on. When you sprint, you get a buff called ev Evasion, which will decrease the chance the enemy is able to hit you. It's because you are running and it's hard to be hit. Now as you can see this map is a little special because I got a jump. Now I can use my thrusters to jump there. I will going to show you that. Now what that will do on the other hand that I'm able to jump but jumping also generate heat. Heat is another really important thing in this game because every map that do something in this battle mode will generate heat with every weaponry or every jump back it uses. Yep. Because heat is generated through weaponry, it's really important how much heat your mech can tolerate. Up, this means every time I try to do something with my weapons, I will generate heat. And if heat go through this marker, I will reach a dangerous point where Overheating will deal physical damage to my max. What does it mean? So, as you can see, there are two categories. Uh, armor and structure integrity. When armor is damaged, it basically just uh, means that the enemy attacks blow through some of your armor and penetrate it, but not really go deep inside the core of your max. But the, point you, the moment your structure got damaged, that will mean that not only the armor is getting chipped off or bone through, but the inner part, the mechanics, the electronics getting damaged. And that's the point where you start feeling your life. Now the mechs uh, are put into many different categories. Uh, I mean, they got many different body parts. They got arms, torsos, uh, the central body part, the legs and the head. Now the head is the most important one. The head is where the pilot is. If the head is blown through, you are done. It would mean that your mech is getting destroyed. The if the head goes down, your pilot is dead and your mech gonna blow. The same goes for the body area. While the body area is big and it's easy to get hit by there, it's also got the most armor and the heaviest structure integrity in there. Okay, so I got an incoming mech. Okay, so it's a light mech and it's advanced into my path. It's out there. Now you can see that this light mech is faster than any of my mechs, so it will be able to take one more turn and fire at me. Okay. So he ran into the forest, the ignoring that my ignoring my cover. I believe if you are in the same forest as, uh, as your enemy, you will be able to blow through the cover that the forest provides. Now you see, I set up a defense line here, but I'm gonna do some 
fun with this guy. So I can do a melee attack and use my laser. I'm gonna do that and try to knock this guy away. Okay. So this is the first point that is really important. You see, this is, I mean, my Mac is a heavy Mac. This one, or a medium Mac at least. Now this is a light Mac. In melee, because I'm heavier, I get a greater chance to really serious damage. And uh, as I can show you, this mech just lost his right arm and right torso, which disabled one of the weapons that was resigning there. Uh, most of the weaponry are in the chest or the two arms area. Now, blowing those down or destroying them mean that it's gonna lose a weapon. So, the next one is this guy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do some firing at him. Copy that. As you see, I still hit the right area, but because there was nothing to blow there, the damage went and traveled to the central part of this map. What can I do for you? Now... I don't think I can hit him from here, so I need to move a little and pivot. Out. So I'm going to turn there and try to do as much damage I can. I will target the right area and try to blow the arm off. So the arm was off and the core part was destroyed too. So center is destroyed, that means that mech went down. But because the center was destroyed and not the head, the pilot is not killed, only Commander. damaged. Now. I will brace for impact. I don't know where his heavy max are because he got two really heavy max. I will try to show those off. One of them is the heaviest mech in the game called I believe Atlas. It it weight is 11 ton. The heaviest mech in my armory is this guy and he's only 9 ton. So yeah. That's quite insane. Angel of yeah. Death, what can I got Precision Strike. I'm gonna step in here and try to kick this guy around. Now the reason... Okay... This is not too good, but let's try to hit that Locust. <laughs> I was barely able to do any damage. Okay, I'm gonna reserve you. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, I'm gonna sensor lock on this guy. That will disable his evasion. Because sensor lock is a ability that will disable the enemy's evasion. I did that, so my other max will be able to target this guy easier. Aye, aye. Now, what I'm going to do is... Hmm, get here and try to shoot some of my weaponry at the enemy. Okay, as you see, I, I still got quite a bad chance to hit with these, but I can take this amount of heat. Now my laser, on the other hand, will hit 100%. So, let's see what I'm gonna do. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, so, what I just did was use the PPCs. They, are, they got high penetration rate and I believe they do structure damage of the base. Okay, rockets inbound. All right, I think I. Ha, you got <laughs> I didn't even dodge one of those attacks. So the attack came from somewhere here, which I don't have visual on, and that's really bad. I need to do. Okay, this is no good. I need to move. I need to move around to be able to target this mech. Now, problem is that because this mech is here. He's able to see me, but because I don't have any other max in the front, I'm unable to see my enemy. Now I was able to take this mech out, but he still was able to scan me and know where I am, but I have no idea where he is. Now the enemy turn is coming. Okay, so a mech is approaching. Now, I'm going to brace and try to decrease my hate heat 
and also try to get back into the cover. I don't know what his max can do, but I hear you. Let me get back here. What can I do for you? Okay, I'm gonna just walk backwards and brace for another attack. Now, I really hope he is not able to attack me without me being able to detect him even the slightest. The slightest, because if he's able to... Okay, the battle master has arrived. Let's look at this mech. It's quite bulky. Okay, do I have something like this in my composition? No. I don't have anything like that. Okay. So, I don't know how much damage that guy can tolerate, but I don't think this will be an easy one. Now, with these, I think I can... Okay, and I did something stupid. Okay, so as you can see, I have overheated. I didn't, done it, I didn't do it purposely, but this is what happened, and I'm gaining a shit ton of rockets again. Alright, I braced for impact so I was able to reduce the damage. Braces decrease the damage that you take. It's a good way to take on attacks. It means that your mech warrior kind of prepare for incoming attacks and try to hold down to them. Okay. Now the enemy take quite a good attack. Now, I will try to show you something. Because, okay, I will do some more attacks. Look at this. He got 200 armor everywhere, 120 on an arm, and I got like 70s. So that mech can take a lot of damage, and his weapon is insane on the other hand. And I'm barely able to shake him, so there is quite a low chance that I will be able to shake him to the point where he will be troubled by that. Okay, so... I can do a sensor lock on him. Remove his evasion. The problem is that this guy is really late. I have to put them in a later stage, so... Okay. Alright, you missed the fuel attack, but... Okay. Alrighty then. Commander. I will brace to reduce heat. Keeping my heat low. Okay. Now he's advancing. Okay. Oh my god. I'm taking damage all around the place. Okay. I have that to brace with this guy. Okay. You going to brace. You taking all the damage. I'm going to insert you, but now I'm going to do some attacks. I need to try to sh shake this guy around, but I ba I'm barely able to do that. I generate nearly no lockdown value on him. Okay, I can fire with everything. And I think I will be able to hit with most of them. Alright, 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 that was good. Okay, a pilot injured and it became unsteady. This means if I will be able to do more damage, I might be able to... Okay, and he went for brace. That was really smart of him because if he would take any more damage, he would have been knocked down. Now, what I can do is try to shoot through his armor. Okay. So, will you enter into my field of... Oh my god! What the hell with that guy? Okay, I lost, a, I lost an arm, head injury. Where the hell is that mech? Why am I unable to see that? That's no good, okay. 
Brace. You got it. Uh -huh. Taking the shot. That guy can take damage like a madman. What can I do for you? Will I overheat? I will overheat greatly if I do this. All right, let's brace and let's bring our heat down. Okay. I'm gonna need a medic. Okay. Don't don't whine. That guy is worse off than you are. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is trying to flank. I need to draw them away because from the front. I'm barely picking away his armor. Okay, where are you? Okay, th he's there. Okay, so you guys can see Atlas now. Okay. Okay, so you can see Atlas now, guys. See, look at this. This block of armor and power. Okay. I will brace. I'm gonna sprint on the other side. I will try to pull them apart. I, I'm not certain I will be able to win this battle, but I will try my best. Waiting on you, Commander. Alright. There's no point to sensor lock. I'm still gonna overheat. Come on, evade. I was able to dodge some of the attacks. But what I'm able to do now is move to his back area and strike from behind. Now, if I'm able to hit with these, that would be really cool. I got a low chance, 50%, but. I am able to hit the back area. Okay. It's good. It's good. Because I was able to do some damage and now Atlas turned his attention towards me and... Don't get to my back. Is it my back? Yes, it was my back. God damn it. Okay, that was a lot of damage that I took. But let me... Jump there. And attack the back again. Alright. It was the arm. I didn't want it to hit the arm. Alright. Let's fire everything at the guy. Okay, he's unsteady. All right, this this is really good. I hear ya. Now I need to do everything to knock that guy down. Firing everything I've got. Come on, knock that guy down. Okay, nice, nice. He's down. He's down, and pilot is injured. Really cool. Now he will stand up, but. It will waste his time and he will not be able to move. An attack is incoming. Now... Not much damage. Rockets not do, do much damage. Won't generate knockdown. But... With this... Your back is open. I'm gonna advance there. I think I will lose this mech. Because Atlas will come after me. And I will overheat, but come on, hit with something, please. You got 50% chance. Okay. okay, I will brace with you in the next turn. 
Alright, Atlas has turned his attack. Okay. A lot of solo hit, and I'm close to be not prone. But what do you need? that doesn't matter now, because I will be able to target your right again. Okay, but I would overheat. That's no good. I'm and I'm overheating already, so I have to brace now. Heat. To reduce that. I can do. And it's your turn now. Let's do some damage on that enemy. Please do something good. Ah. Uh. I'm not doing good. What can I do for you? I'm barely able to dish out some pain, but let's send you in. Shut down one. Okay, you will shut down. And stay down. All right. The pilot is down, and I overheated, so I'm going to shut down. Now, now the Atlas will be able to aim at me and do precision hits, which means you can aim at any part of my body. Alright, my mech is down, but the pipe is alive. Okay, no, I just need to bring Atlas down, <laughs> which will be quite easy to do. <laughs> no, it will be not. This one took a lot of time to bring down and now Atlas is there, so I'm going to brace and let's see what I can do. I need to breathe, brace with him. Aye, aye. I need to brace with him because he's Good overheating already. My mech. And Atlas will walk to me and do a melee attack to destabilize me. They're blowing through my armor. All right. Now, yes, while I'm unsteady and I can sprint, it seems. Okay, let's move there. Out. I will try to bring Atlas back to the firing range and try to attack him. I already lost, lost one of my on I lost one of my arms and the PPCs are down, two of them. That's no good. I Okay, this is a long range mech, I know that now. I don't know if I will be able to beat Atlas in this long battle, but well I will try my best. Yeah. Okay, at last, I take some damage. Okay. Commander? Decrease your heat more. I will try to run away with this guy. I don't know what Atlas is going to do now. Okay. Oh, my center took a lot of beating and. My center is down. Okay, this is really, really bad. So now I'm going to brace, and I'm going to brace with him too. So let's see what Atlas is going to do. Atlas got no visual on me, but okay. He is in evasion, but luckily I got my precision skill, which will allow me to remove that. So, I'm going to remove that and put some salvo in him. Restart. Oh yes, because he overheated, he need to restart. Alright. So... Atlas will take extra damage from anything if I'm able to hit him, but that's not what I'm going to do, it seems like. Oh, please don't walk to me. Let's stop there. Okay. Yikes! That hard! Okay. Right here. Let's do some attacks on your ass. Okay. Come on. How much armor the arm got? <sighs> a lot. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna waste um, a lot of time. Okay, this hit quite poorly, so let's fire everything else. All right, so pilot is injured and it's unsteady. Now, if he do not brace, he get no he can get no down there. So I'm interested what he's going to do. And yes, he braced. Okay. Let's try to bring in some pain. I'm not gonna use this. Okay, I'm still having overheat warning. So, let's fire only two of my lasers. I'm picking away in small percentages. Mm, it's an overheat, so I'm gonna brace. It is my instability. Oh, you are already advancing back. I, l I don't like that. You blown one of my arms up. So, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get behind him and try to do a melee, a melee attack at his back. Can't I use melee? I can't. Okay, let's fire everything I'm able to and try to do some hurt on me in you. Okay, some minor injuries. Now, going there, let's fire at him. I will try to use everything I got. I need to bring in as much pain as I can, at least blow one arm off. Okay, he's completely unsteady and he is injured. Okay, okay. It truly went for me, but now you are unsteady. Okay, I will try to knock him down with this guy. Even though he might overheat. No, he will not. Come on, please knock him down. Get knocked down. And it's not knocked down. God damn it. It's supposed to be extremely unsteady. Shut down warning. I can't do much. I need to do as... Okay. Can I advance to a better location, maybe, to fire at... Okay, I can fire at his back. That has to do something. Okay, I'm gonna disable this and try to bring my mech from overheating. Let's disable these guys. These are rockets that I'm trying to fire at him. Okay, overheat warning only and no shutdown. And the knockdown. Alright. He went down. He went down. Okay. Now he had to get up. But I think he will not be able to move because... Yes, he is unable to move. Okay, good. Wait, 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 why can't I? Alright, I will fire with everything oh against his God. back. Come on, one of the back area has to go now. Alright, even if I'm shut down, I have to bring in all what I can, because if this bastard turn, I will not be able to punch through any of those armors. So, overheat shut down, we don't care. We go to whatever we can do. Yes! The central area was blown away. God damn it. Oh. That guy took a lot of time to bring down. So as you can see, even though the enemy got two light max, his two heavy max was able to bring 
back everything he lost on those two light mechs. Two of my mechs was brought down by the center area the generator blowing uh, up or getting shut down. One of my mech was crippled to the point losing both of his arms and my other mech was the one who barely took any damage. But if you can see the damaged amount, this one was lucky shot going down. But this mech lost arms and a lot of weaponry. So, of course we survived. So we were quite good at living through the battle and they lost. But anyway, I think you can kind of grasp what the game is all about and how it goes. There are areas which give you bonuses, certain moves that can uh, get countered by sensor lock, countering out your evasion that you get from sprint. Sprint cover larger, er larger areas, jump packs allow you to jump through the uh, valleys and other areas that you would not able to cross without them. So I think we get kind of a basic picture what this game is about. This game is still in beta and you can only do single battles like this. But there will be a full release with a complete campaign and I think I will do a walkthrough of that. If you would like to have a walkthrough of this game then please leave a like and a comment and that's it for this video guys if you liked it burn down the like button and if you want to be a true subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye